Hello everyone, thanks for stopping by my channel. I hope uh, you enjoy what you see and that you will subscribe and like and leave comments. Um, so moving along, today is Stash Go, hashtag, hashtag Stash Go, which is um, a little game of sort that I play and it's on my Facebook group, which is Junk Journal in a Day, if you want to find out how it goes. We don't have that many left, that many um, weeks left, so um, I used to call them uh, the numbers randomly on my phone, but now I don't have a, a very many numbers left, so it keeps picking the same numbers. So let me pick out a number, and this is what we're going to do for this week. The number is 12, and we're going to do notebooks. Oh, well, that'll be fun, because uh, I need to get some more of those and remember to <laughs> actually put them in a journal so all right let me get some things out and uh, then we'll get started on this okay hold on okay I'm back so I've got a mess here um, and what I wanted to share with you not so much about making notebooks because you know we all can do that but it's about using other things that you would normally... I, I got these from uh, probably Tapeology. Tapeology. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe Timu. I don't know. But uh, I'm never going to use these little guys. I probably... You know, I just wouldn't stick those in a journal. And I've never had anything to use them for. So I found these and I thought, well those would make a real cute little notebook. Uh, I have several. I mean, I, these are really cute once you see what maybe you can do with them. Maybe not the same things, but anyway, that's kind of what I was... I mean, I, there's hundreds um, that came with it. That's just um, regular paper there, and here's some pretty paper. Um, this looks like... It's just all that thin paper but you know if you're doing something with a big a lot of florals in it you know you can use those pages so that's one thing you can do with your you know you buy it online um, and it's not what you really wanted or it's not as usable as you had thought it would be which is what happened in this case because these are just small I have uh, other ones that I bought that are larger, but again, I don't, it seems like I don't use them. I, I don't use a lot of things I have. <laughs> it's just, you know, now these, these are cute because I like, these would be great to use over the top or on the, on the front of, yeah, this is, oh, those would be cute too. But, you know, like if you're making a, um, a little notebook, you can put this on the front. So, and the other thing is just to save all your cutoffs. Now, these are tiny. I don't like them that small, but that's what happens when I use this moleskin uh, paper. Uh, it's kind of short. Um, let me see. I'm just... And then we've got guest check cards. Um... Oh, and then this was from Sally. I just took a few off. I thought maybe I'd make a little notebook out of that. And I buy um, address books and things like this whenever I see them. I'm just kind of browsing. I keep little pieces like, I don't know, I just keep them. And they look really cool in notebooks. If I think about it when I'm getting ready to toss things out so that's what I have in that and I have some over here too that are not a lot because I'll save them for a while these were cute I just cut these out of um, a digital that I had I have a, a punch that Lisa sent me I think it's for journal making but I thought well these are kind of cool put on friends of things and then um, I also buy little address books that um, I take the pages out either put them in a journal or put them in a little notebook 
like that. I didn't coffee dye these, but and then this was another one that's quite a bit written in it, so I don't know how many things I can actually use out of it, but it's already a creamy old color because it's an old book. And then I buy all these little journal books that I can find um, because these make great pages. Uh, well, that one's glued. But you can do these for notebooks. Like if you wanted to do a larger scale. Let's see. I'm going to see if there's a Just had those other oh, there, there. I'm gonna take this out just real quick because I don't really want to rip the pages because I use these in journals as well. Okay, so that would be enough for a notebook right there, probably. And I probably would cut these down. A little bit, but you know, like a five by seven type um, thing that you have a journal card that's in a kit that you got, you can always make a notebook out of it. So um, that's another one, and I already did that one and that one. Oh, and this one here um, again, I got this with. Um, I think somebody's at my door, but I don't think they are. Oh, yeah. Somebody's at the door. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm back. It was a, a gardener I called because my gardener has not shown up for a month. So, I got a new gardener. Thank you. Um, so, these little things that I got also from one of those, um, Timo or Taperology or one of those. And, um... So I have an example here. I took these little pages. How many do I have in here? One, about five probably. So I took one, I did different pages. Probably used all of the ones I liked. I'm missing something. Yeah, so anyway, um, and then this is very simple. You just do this and then get a little tab, um, staple it to the top, whatever you want. Use, use this music one maybe, or anything that you can, you know, put up here. It could be a flower or anything. Um, let's see, do I have anything different? I did, there's some, I need to like actually get rid of, there's things that I just don't like, <laughs> you know? Oh, I don't have any ink. I took my ink in the other room because I was working on some pages. That's okay, we don't need it. So I'm just going to put that there and staple it. So this gardener that just came, he seems to be very nice and uh, reliable. And he has a nice truck. And he sounds like he's, oh, I need to get a different stapler. He sounds like um, somebody who takes care in what he does. Which these days is kind of hard to find people like that. Okay, so that's one little notebook there. I got that little one there. And let's see. Um... 
Let's do one of these. I love these. Uh, so I'm going to use, I think, I think four would be enough. And um, I can't remember if I put something. No, I don't think I put anything. I mean, I put something, but it won't be something to cover that. Because when I staple these, I think, no, oh, I've got the Tim Holtz, but let's see. I finally got that fixed. I don't know if I told you what happened, but the rusty, um, the rusty staples just got rustier and they kind of glued together. So now this is here and you can actually rip this off. Let's see if we can't find something to put on that. Um, I brought my little box of fussy cut things. These are little envelopes I used to make when I would work on a journal and I had leftover, then I would put the leftovers in here. That's pretty. This was from the um, Midnight Meadow. From Tanya Tiny Treasures and collage type. I'm just let me see. I thought maybe I might have a have all this stuff in here that's I could be using. Well, I think I can work with this. Just do something like that. And this. Uh, let's see, what other inks do I have handy? twigs but it's an old one but it might be enough uh, I don't know if that works not really I think this one works still a little life left in the I need to remember to use these. That's my problem. I forget that I have stuff. I think I'll leave that number showing. I'll just think that's too long still. So you guys, I have a fourth cat, and you, it's funny because um, the other day I looked out and I saw <clears throat> this or an orange cat, and I said, oh, it must be Toby, but he looks bigger for some reason, and then I just, you know, kind of forgot about it. I don't know, I don't like that. 
Um, hmm. Maybe if I put it like that. Hmm. <clears throat> so, anyways, I thought it was Toby. And then this morning, I went out to feed the cats, and there was Toby and this orange cat, other orange cat. The other orange cat wouldn't come up uh, in, on the porch as long as I was there. And so, because I'm thinking, I keep putting food out, and it just disappeared. And I thought that little kitten one couldn't possibly eat all that. And she, I think it's a she, and she didn't because that other cat is hanging around. And I've had four stray cats before. Um, I can't remember what happened. What, what, um, I think a couple of them just wandered off. They were starting to get fed because they ran around. They don't. They never came in the house. I never touched them. But I just fed them. Oh, I know, because I was getting um, raccoons were coming up and eating all the food. So I got um, a couple of them. A couple of them just kind of ran off anyways. But the other two... I took to my son's, my son-in-law's shop, and he's got a big yard, I mean, a open area, and so they, and he gets the, um, the cats are there to keep the mice down, because they have so much open field area. Okay, I might want to put something else on there, I don't know what, but anyway, so there's one then. And let's see, we made this one. I wonder, do I want to put something down there? Or should I just leave it? I think I'm just going to leave it. Oh gosh, I hate it when I do that. I have I usually try to use the book to lay it on so I don't go over the edge too much. Okay. So let's see what else that was done, that's done. That was already done. Um let's do one of something with this address book. I did rip some of those off. Maybe I'll just use those. up a little bit. I can always go back and spritz it with a little coffee. Get it to
see if I have a scrap of paper that's big enough to cover that. Piled, piled up on everything. This will look good in the denim blue. The denim and lace journal. I was thinking of um, going down the edge of this. Let's see if I do that. I don't want to sew it in, is what I'm getting at, and I want these pages to be stuck inside. So I need to score this. markings on this any at all. I'm just guessing. Alright, so if I do that, I don't know if these look funny there. I think it would be okay if I did it this way. Doesn't give that much excitement, I guess. But I'll just make a smaller one with those in it. And I don't think I need to do the back one. So if I was to turn the page here, I could just lay it down. doesn't really matter because I think I'm going to I'm trying to see what mark I used. in there but they're rusty so they might have got stuck together yeah they're 
they solidly rested together. <laughs> okay. Let's see if it'll work with these. So I'm going to probably have to go back to the just covering them with alcohol ink instead of rusting them. But it did look kind of neat. Okay. Down this lane over there making these noises. I wish uh, Toby would just come in the house and stay in here instead of going outside because. That way I can just, um, the strays, I can just put, you know, enough food out each day that I know they're not going to starve. But right now I don't know who's eating what. And so I don't know if Toby's hungry or but one of them is hungry because they don't all come at the same time. All right. So here I wanted to maybe put a piece of lace if I use this in the denim. That's a, I was looking for that. I think I'm going to use something a little skinnier if I have it skinny <laughs> so I called my other gardener and told him that my I was getting somebody else and he says okay I was planning to come today <laughs> too late too bad um, I think that's kind of a nice size there okay eyes are very itchy today. It must be something outside that's... I think I'm out of glue. I have to go get another. Okay. I bought, yesterday I bought some more uh, paper. Do I want this on this side? I mean, the ruffle's going away. Yeah, I think so because then when you open it, it won't crease the book, or crease the ribbon. Anyway, um, so I had to order something. Um, I was out of, but it wasn't very expensive, and I thought, oh, I don't want Amazon coming just for that one little tiny thing that I needed. So I ordered some paper, thinking I didn't even have any left, and I have, I just ordered a whole ream of it in June. I'm like, God, my, my memory is just so, so bad. So bad. It cost me a fortune. <laughs> With a bad memory, you keep buying stuff you already have. But I can always use it, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. All right. What would be cute with blue denim? Let's see. I am going to use some red colors. Um, oh, how cute is that? I like that. You know, I'm kind of getting where I like like one thing. 
um, if I do it here, at least this, you know, pretty showing here covers the butterfly. So I think I'm going to do it here. I think that's cute. Sedona likes to hide. Right now she's back behind a box in my sewing room. I can't even really see her, but I know she's there. Yep. She's laying against the wall. And um, then in my other room where I sew, I have a cube little stand thing that I put my supplies and stuff in there. And she lays down in one of the little cubicles at the bottom and sleeps in there. So, yeah, I think I like that. I mean, I always could add, right, I'm something else. Let's see about doing a little tea dye in there. I wish I had some magic tea dye stuff. But I can do that. Oops. Okay, so there's another one. How long have I been? Because I also have the other first little part of the video. Those. Oh, and this, um, Kathy was asking about this punch, or this die cut. I don't know where I got it. I'm pretty sure these are from Jody got those for me. And I do this a lot. I take them out of the package, and I just don't want to have all those packages everywhere. So I put them on a, a magnetic pad thing. And hers might have had these in it too, the ones that Jody. But I don't think this one. Um, these two, yes. So, but I think I got it on Amazon. I guess you would just uh, type it in. Uh, bull clip tab maybe that's what it would be called if that's the ones you're talking about so I didn't have the information when I sent back a message so there it is okay let's see what else do we have there's also um well let's just do one that's a little like here I've kept these pieces to make Um, I like these like little scrappy ones. And that there. Well, it would be nice if that was on the line straight so it looks right. upside down. I'll just do it this way. Um, the wording is what I'm talking about. Okay. Each time I rip off anything that can be used as a notebook, those are really kind of tiny. Let's do these guys. Okay. And then all we need is a piece of. Um, 
scrapbook paper or any kind of paper that scrap digital. No. I'm just looking for something kind of neutral. Probably because I'm going to use it for a uh, sample. Mm. All right, guys. And I could use that, I guess. Okay, I kind of like um, the green, so I'm just going to cut this. pretty. I think this is collage types. Um, is that going to look okay? I was thinking this would be even cute as a matchbook. Notebook. Let me think about that. So if I put this up here. How lazy can you be, you know? <laughs> I can. All right, so now if I've got a, that's too long, but I've got to, how do I, um, it's been a while I made these. Can't remember how I kept the, this in. I guess I just messed up. stapled it here at the top. Okay. Let's see a piece that needs to be erased here. Okay. Gosh, I don't know if my staple stapler would go through that. Let's just bit shorter. I'm 
doing this right. Oh, come on. I don't know, I think this stapler has had it. Well, it has. Oh, there's staples. This is what happened last time. It just decided not to staple. All right. You know, I've had this staple that Tim holds for a long time, and I use it quite a bit. So it's probably just seen its day. Okay, so now this is too long, and I think that paper is probably too long too. Just gonna cut off the little. Watch me cut it too short; it won't fit down inside there. Yeah, it's okay. Oh my gosh! What a hassle. Okay. I don't know if I want to decorate it because I don't know what I will use this for. I think I don't. Yeah, I don't know what kit this is from. But it kind of reminds me of Christmas with the little berries. I don't know. Okie doke. So that's that. And up here to hide those, I'm going to put I was going to put lace, but I think maybe something like that would be good. Oh, I'm just looking. I think um, this might be... one I got from the ones that I did documents um, I think I'll use glue because I'm afraid that glue stick might not hold that with the staples I tell you, if you don't use it every single day, and I think that the older your glue gets in this bottle, uh, the thicker this glue becomes because it's evaporating some of the water content, if you know what I mean. Not enough to make it like um, dry up, but enough to make it thicker to go through this little nozzle. But I would be afraid to add water to it because I might ruin all of it and it's too expensive to, to ruin it. Okay, so that's, that's good. It's, I'll find something else maybe to put on there. I don't know. 
So that a uh, couple here made. It took a while, huh? But if you set it up on some kind of assembly, you know, like I've got all these, I could make several notebooks at a time. And I like it just with the tab on the top. I think um, I think that's cute. That would be cute sticking out. And I don't know if I want to uh, staple that. I don't have a. S yeah, I better not try that one. But then again. Oh, I know what I can do. That one doesn't work. I can staple it up here because otherwise the pages are going to fall out. There, that works. I'm going to get a different stapler. I think I probably have a few around the house somewhere. I like this blue because I think that'll look cute in the blue book. In the blue. Um... Oh, I didn't make any with the crows. I'll have to do that. And I'll get a charm, something to put on this. Or I could use this one. Yeah, I want to use this because I want to. In the, in the blue denim journal. I'm calling it the blue denim. It's not. It's denim and lace. Yeah. Okay. So, that can be done like that. There's another one done. Look for this. Okay. All right, guys. So I guess that's it for today. Um, I hope uh, you enjoyed this and make yourself some notebooks. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video. Um, yeah, there'll be one um, tomorrow. I kind of messed up in my order of videos, so there will be one tomorrow. So I'll see you then. Okay, bye.